So some of my more observant viewers may have noticed the Garfield phone in the background. I bought that as a as a birthday present to myself. I looked at it in, in the last R slash meme list video, but look, 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 hang on, all right. It doesn't actually work, so that's a bit disappointing. It does have some cool features. I think this is supposed to go into a wall. I don't know, I've never set up a landline before. But look, look, look okay, okay. When you pick up the phone, his eyes are, that is so, that, that's so cool. God, I love Garfield phone. That's the best 45 quid I've ever spent. But anyway, today I'm doing an R slash news video. But before I get into that, I've got, I got a little story for all of you. Uh, I got recognized for the first time in public and I didn't really like it. Now you're probably thinking, George, how did you get recognized in public? Did someone recognize your voice? Did they somehow recognize your face even though you don't show it? No, no, it was something a lot, uh, probably a lot more odd than you expect. So I had a shoot for a, uh, a company. I'm not, I'm not going to name the company yet because it hasn't come out yet. I, I don't know what I'm allowed to speak about. But I was doing a promo for this company and they wanted a promo piece for their socials that I'm, I'm pretty sure this is for. So I, I, I was like, okay, cool. So I had to travel all the way up to Watford to film it in one of their their um their places. And uh, it's a place that is normally open to the public. But it was about like nine in the morning. So I wasn't really expecting anyone to come in. Also, I was told it was closed set so like no one could come in. So I'm getting ready. I'm doing my, um, my, my, uh, it's like a thing of, uh, I had to walk, I had to do some actions and stuff. I, I love doing shoots like that, like high production things. I love doing stuff like that. I, it's, it's, a, it's a fun day out for me. So I was, I was warming, I was, I was getting my, my things ready. I was, I had to walk, I had to go like that. I had to go like that. I was getting ready to do my first bit. And who do I see but four teenagers come up the escalator to this place. And as soon as I see them, my heart drops because they are like my, they are like, imagine a memeless viewer in your head. All four of them are memeless viewer. Every single one of them. Like they are my demographic to a T. They come up the escalator. I'm not expecting to see anyone because I thought it was close set. But they come up the escalator to this place that you wouldn't normally go to in the morning. I don't know what they were doing there at nine in the morning. But they come up the escalator and one of them turns around and goes, uh, I'm in the mask by the way. I should probably explain. I'm in the mask. So I feel like a bit of a tit anyway because I'm stood in public in my mask. And to the people that always ask me, oh, George, do you, do you wear your, your mask out? In no, of course, I'm not a nutter. So I'm just kind of stood there on this like mark, which I'm supposed to walk from. And these people come up the escalator, but one of them turns around and goes, that's that guy from YouTube. And I'm just like, fuck, <laughs> I've been... <laughs> I've been rumbled. So I'm just there like, shit, shit. Because if you know me, you know I am like the most anxious. I don't ever talk about it. But I am literally the most anxious man alive. But like, I worry about everything. And this sent me into full panic mode. So I'm stood there. There's like the director of the thing and a cameraman. I'm just like standing behind them. Like, I'm, I'm going up into a ball from how much I am panicking. Because like, they, they were nice enough, the people. They were nice enough. They just went, oh, that's that YouTube guy. And then um, they just kind of stood brown. But I was like... Oh fuck, oh fuck, in my head I was like, oh fuck, oh fuck. I was like, I was panicking so, so bad. <laughs> because I'd never been spotted before, let alone in my mask. And I was just stood there in my mask, just like this. And I didn't even know what to do. So I just kind of went, I'm, I'm shooting, I'm shooting an ad. I didn't, I didn't know what to tell them. I didn't know what to do. Because they were like stood on the other side of a room as well. So I wasn't just like, you're all right. But I had to just like, you're all right. Yeah, I was just stood there completely panicked and it, it was awful i i did not enjoy it at all <laughs> obviously it's not these people's fault they were they were nice uh they did something and then left and as they were going down the escalator they went i love i love your videos and i went thank you have a nice day and i i'm not even sure if they watched my videos because i don't think they said my name they just kind of said that's that guy from youtube and then i had to do another bit and um they opened this place up to the, the public i guess i feel like a tit whenever someone spots me in public in the like the, the last time something like this happened was the e-boys um the e-boys cook-off e-boys bake-off video because we were stood in like a kitchen and it was like facing this public courtyard and there were people just looking at me and you could not tell but throughout like 75 percent of that video i am having like a, an anxiety attack i hated filming that video so i was just stood in the, they were interviewing me about something i had to answer some some questions and there was just uh, this guy he obviously didn't recognize me because he wasn't i could tell he's like it wasn't really my audience but he was just stood staring at me as i was doing this thing stood in my mask and i just kind of just looked at him <laughs> it's just like i i don't like being around people that aren't like cameramen crew or like other youtubers when i'm in my mask it's kind of kind of weird but all in all i enjoyed the day i like i like recording stuff like that it's just um 
I get very stressed. So if you're a brand and you want me to shoot with you, please make sure it's it's closed set. Otherwise, I will not do it. I, I simply won't. <laughs> but anyway, uh, on, let's, see, let's see what you guys have posted this month on r slash memeulous. It's perfect. I, I'm still surprised you should push that video as much as they did. Like, it's got 7.1 million views and it literally has nonce as the third word in the title. I put feet, like just the word feet, amongst other words, was in a, a thumbnail of one of my recent videos and it got it got restricted for that. Like it didn't get pushed out much because of that. Yeah, I, I think four years ago you could do that. I wish we could go back. I vote so George can make a video on naked are you trying to get my channel taken down like, what, do you, what, what am i even supposed to say like boys oh, he's got he's got a hefty schlong also sorry if you can hear the torrential rain in the background um it's summer in england so i don't know what you expect this new generation doesn't know the pain we went through when these two mfs were popular do you remember when like the biggest youtube channels would have like two million subscribers that was nuts like i, I always forget how small youtube used to be because I've, I've literally been using it since 2006 like it's always been a big thing from like me and the people I've been around because I, I don't know I guess it's like I'm like the, the first generation to grow up with it as like our primary form of entertainment so I've always seen YouTube as like this massive thing but I forget like what 10 years ago it was way smaller than it is now all these ones hers seems like a, that is that is pretty that's pretty epic I must say good little uh little coinky dink what Hi, George. I made the Chrome Dino game out of Lego. What? No way. That is ridiculous. Hang on. Wait. Is it automated? Is that an all... Okay. How? Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. No, I mean, I'm I'm heavily impressed by that. Remember when I met Mimulus on Amigo and fucked it up by saying Joe Mama? I don't remember that. I don't, honestly, I don't even know what you expect to say to me. Like, if you got the uh, epic opportunity of meeting me or speaking to me on uh, or meeting me on Amigle, what would you say to me? Other YouTubers needing thousands upon thousands to get into a Reddit video. <laughs> Only needing one, maybe two upvotes to get into a memeless video. Very true. You should post more on the on the sub on the subreddit so you can be in a video. Oh wow! Oh my god! That is really cool. Well done, um, Finlin, is that, if that's your name. That's so cool, George. You cheeky boy. A fun fact: I was gonna. Uh, I was going to do a deal with them once because they put, they put out like, oh, we're looking for influencers to work with. And I was like, you know what? That'd be a really funny integration to do. And then they messaged me and then I thought, it's probably not the best look me promoting a flashlight on my channel, is it? Probably not. Me when Daphne, me when Velma. Velma is a baddie. Like she's heavily underrated. Like if it was between Velma and Daphne, Velma all day, every day. This was the tag on my tip. How did that get 500 upvotes? This is really the standard of what we what we have on this subreddit now. <laughs> there is an island of trash in the Atlantic big enough to be included on maps. For more information, just search United Kingdom. Well, actually, actually it's, it would be called, it would be Britain, because Britain's the island. The United Kingdom actually consists of an, a whole island and part of another island and several other islands around. Mimi, let's watch your movies. R slash Mimi, last month this happened. It's just like nothing really happens anymore. So it's like, I don't know what to talk about. I might, I might bring it back if I can figure out like what to talk about. But like, there's just nothing nothing of interest that there is that, that actually goes on. There's like YouTube drama, but honestly, I'd rather just delete my channel than talk about like some petty YouTube drama that I literally do not care about. Like if I have to make another video on Jake Paul, like I'm going to be so upset. George, you need to watch this with James. I actually have a video, I have a video on that coming out soon. And it's, it's, it's not like I what watch on one but it's a, it's one where i'm watching it and it's 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 looking quite good at the moment good news they still sell wonka bars in blackpool bad news is you have to go to blackpool to get them where did obama go george i honestly i have no idea i genuinely i i do not know where he is oh, i'm gonna look at my storage room hang on one second i don't think he's in there i don't know where he is i put him in alex's room because um i had like an inspection or something in here and i don't want them to question me on why i had an obama cut out i couldn't help noticing the garfield phone i love it i'm glad to hear it i love it too it's good <laughs> when the tv license man arrives he never shows up he, he he wouldn't he wouldn't dare he didn't have the balls to show up chris chan enthusiast normally chris chan enthusiast are... i honestly i i've heard the news and i was like oh I, i've heard of him before and i I, I, it was like, oh, I've, I've briefly heard of him. And then I saw there's like a long documentary on YouTube. And I was like, oh, you know, I'll, get, I'll see, I'll see how much of this I can watch. I watched like 10, 15 minutes of it. And I felt like, like as if all the happy chemicals in my brain had just been depleted. Like, I don't know how anyone can watch those videos. They're just so, so, so insanely depressing. <laughs> George's subscribers, George's sunglasses, George's investigation spectacles. I've got, these are prescription now. So I can actually kind of see out of these. I don't think I'll be needing the um, investigation spectacles. 
schools as much anymore. Just showed your girl from my Experian credit school and now she's leaving you. I I'm I'm so proud of my Experian credit score because it's like on the it's on the like the best green bit. It's like I, I think it's like 970 something. I've got really good credit score. I can take out loans and stuff. How awesome's that? Girls with time machine. I am your granddaughter, really. Boys with the time machine. No, don't go to one of these places to record a video on the 4th of January 2019. It's a trap. Okay, cheers. Thanks to Estella. Fancy Estella in the pub. Oh, thank you, uh, boys. I appreciate that. Position for George to play Garfield. I was going to do a video on like the Garfield law because I feel as though there's a bigger story behind a whole Garfield uh, 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 franchise. I feel as though there's a big story there and I could investigate it and make a video on the Garfield law, but I don't know if it, if it'd do well. <laughs> it might be one of those weird videos that just does well because of how weird it is. Right, but anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to post on the subreddit. Um, and I might, I might see it for my next video. Also, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.